Welcome back to a new episode of the 30 by 30 series. Today's episode number 22. Hey, yeah. All right. We're going to today we are going to make a title that's sort of like a I don't know what you would call this. It's just an animated title. All right. So first of all, we're going to go as always, we're going to create a new fusion composition. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a, a background, of course, as always, and we're going to change the color. And then we're going to create a merger just to make it in between. And then we're going to create this background. And on this background, we're going to make a shape. And we're going to make a new merger. And then we're going to connect this here. So first of all, we're going to make that line shape that moved around. So we're going to make it 1.5 high. And then we're going to make it thin. It doesn't really matter. It's all up to you. And then we're going to change the background and we're going to make it more opaque. I think 0.55 should be fine. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to copy these and paste it. And we're going to connect it to these there and we're gonna edit this rectangle and make it a little bit thinner like that all right the next step would be we're gonna animate this so we're gonna first of all we're gonna animate the back the first background so we're gonna create a keyframe here for the position and then let's say 10 frames for the ending for that let's, let's go a little bit more let's go 15 frames for the ending we're going to take this one out and right in the middle. We're going to create a, another keyframe and I'll show you why in a second. So the ending is going to be all the way up here. And the start is going to be from the bottom. And then we can, let's see if we can copy these. We're going to paste the settings. So it's basically doing the same thing right now, but we're going to change a couple of things. The first thing that we're going to change is the size. We're going to make it thinner. And the second thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the keyframes. And we're going to move these keyframes a little bit. So what we want is that in the middle, when this keyframe is in the middle, this other one, we want it to be in the middle too, but it's gonna be a little bit faster. Hmm, I don't really like it as much yet. All right, I'm, let me erase these keyframes and I'm gonna animate it from the beginning in there. So when this one is in the middle, we're going to make this other one come a little bit behind and then make it go up. And then before the other one goes all the way out, we're going to make this one go up too. And there it goes. And we're going to go to this spline tool and we're going to select this. We're going to press F and then we're going to go to this middle one. We're going to make it a little bit longer like that. We're going to do the same for both of those. So what this is going to do is basically going to make the thing stay in the middle for a little bit longer. There it goes. It's sort of like a little bit different, but it still looks pretty cool in my opinion, of course. All right. So the next thing is we're going to the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy these and paste it. And we're going to connect these mergers together. And then we're going to take this one and connect it there. So the next thing would be we're going to take, we're going to remove these 
animations that we had. So we're going to go to the middle where both of these are. And we're going to remove the position keyframes. There. And we're going to put these on the side. Here, like that. We don't want to see that one right now, so we're just going to unlink it for a little bit. There. So we're going to link it back up and we're going to go and see where our animation ends in this one. When it disappears, it's right here. So that's where this one is going to start. So we're going to go all the way up. And then with this one too, we're going to start a keyframe right here. And then we're going to, whoops. We're going to start the keyframe. We're going to go a couple frames forward there. And then once this one is down there, let me remove this one. It's not letting me. Okay. So once this other one, okay. Yeah. For some reason it's acting out. All right. Whatever. Uh, we're going to go here to this one. So we know where, where we were. We're going to select both of those, so then we can position this in the middle again. We're going to go here. We're going to move this other one back out. And then we're going to create the key from, whoops, there. And then we're going to go a couple frames forward and then come down and cover that middle part. So we're going to go back to this one and we're going to remove this keyframe because it was just bothering us there. So right now we're going to have these two just going like that, which is cool too. But what I did for the other one was I went here and I created a transform node to this one. So then I move it like that. But then what the problem is right here is that we are having that weird cut. And I'll show you how to solve that in a second. So let's position it right here. And I think we're going to might want to make them a little bit thinner. So we're going to add another transform here to this one also. And we're going to make this one a little bit thinner. And move it like that. And then the same thing is what we're going to do to solve this. So we're going to go here and we're going to deselect this and then we're able to change this and make it longer so now we're able to see that thing happening like that okay so then we're gonna go and see where our last keyframe is it ended here and the next thing that we need to do is we're gonna have to create our text nodes and for that I had four text text nodes so we're gonna have to create it like that yeah, it becomes really crazy once you have too many, but it's fine. It's no big deal. And right here, that's, that's how it should be. Now we're going to connect these to these merger right here so we can see everything there. So we're going to go to a first text node and we're going to write our main title title. And then we're going to go to our second one and we're going to write secondary and I'm just writing them like this in this one. So then you can edit them and put whatever you want. Then third one will be some interesting words. And on this third one, we're going to go in here and make the H anchor to the left. And then on this last one was another cup couple words well, let's just write some more words all right and then this one is fine if it's center but what i had was i did had a little bit more line spacing because it was only two words and then we're going to position them where we want them to be
there. Oh yeah, this was a this, what I call this title was a big title animation. <laughs> really original name, right? Um, okay, so then the next thing would be before we're able to animate this text, we're gonna go here and we're gonna create a mask for all of these. So we're gonna make, change the sizing to fit this one. And then you wanna make sure that it aligns with this line here. And then for this last one, I didn't actually have a mask for this one. I just animated the opacity. So, okay, let's start animating. So once the thing comes down at 35, we're gonna go to 36. We're gonna create a keyframe for this first text. For the text right here, we're gonna create a keyframe. We're gonna go to 41, 42 for that first one to make the end. And then we can animate these backwards like that. Then at 42 is when these other one ends. So we want the second title to end like a little bit after. So we're gonna go to 43 and add a keyframe. And then we're gonna go to start these right here. I think it would be a cool thing. And then we're going to just drag this out. And then once that one is done, here we're going to animate this text. So we're going to animate it right away when this one ends. We're going to go to 45 and then we're going to go four frames, 49. Well, I'm animating it backwards right now. Here, create the keyframe and then we're going to go up on this one. And then at the same time that this one was appearing, I increased the opacity of this one. So I went here and I went to the shading section and I created a opacity to zero here and I went a couple frames and then made that. And then for the coming, then it has to go all the way back out, right? So we're gonna go here to frame 70 and we're gonna create a keyframe for the opacity and animate it backwards. So then we're gonna go one more behind. I'm gonna animate this text to go up again. And then when it goes up, we're gonna create a keyframe for this one. The second one, gonna go a couple frames ahead. I'm gonna drag it out and then do the same thing for the first one. Go a couple frames and drag it out. And then we're going to go two more frames just so it waits a little bit. And we're going to animate this last one, which we're going to animate the first one, the top one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So then we can go, you can also add motion blurs and sh shadows and all that, but I'm going to let you play around with that and then you do something even more creative and then let me know you can share it with me and yeah so we're gonna go back to our here to our to our normal timeline and we're gonna render it out yeah that's pretty much it as always you can download the with the link in the description so this was the 30 by 30 series episode number 22 we have eight more episodes to go until the end of this season series. And I hope to see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye, Swabi.